What is up, YouTubers, Tooltubers of the world? My name is Brad, and welcome to the workbench. Today we got this Delta 6-inch joiner. I picked up this joiner on my way back from work one day, and uh, the guy only wanted 25 bucks for it. And it is a cast iron top. It's heavy as hell. It was a hell of a buy. It does run. So I never got to let y'all see my process when I did my table saw. So, I'll let you see my process on my joiner. There's really not much to this uh, restoration, or it's not really a restoration, it's just getting it back in a good, clean, working order. But I need to take off the fence and everything in my way. Basically, all I've got to do to get this thing in working condition is clean up the table. So, let's do that. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got the uh, the knives and the little holders cleaned up. I had to retap five of the holes. That's a quarter twenty-eight tap, by the way. If anybody else has this machine. All right. So uh, as far as cleaning this table, my most recommended approach is to try the least abrasive method and work your way up. So I'm probably gonna. Just hit it with a wire brush just to get the easy surface stuff off. Uh, and then I'm going to probably, I think I'll try 60 grit sandpaper. And if that does okay, go up to 150. If 60 grit doesn't do nothing, I'll probably have to break out the wire brush. If the wire brush wouldn't do nothing, which I'm sure it will, I'd probably go to a flap disc. But you have to be very careful. You don't want to remove very much metal at all because you want this thing to stay perfectly level because you really don't want to dive into having to try to, try to re-level it. That's a can of worms you don't want to open. So we're just trying to get the rust off. That is it. All right guys, so at this point you might notice that I'm wearing a snazzy new shop apron sent to me by Texas Canvas Wares. Great little company. I love this apron guys. Especially doing work like this really helps to save your clothes from that WD-40 and rusty goo that flies off everywhere. It's made out of a uh, waxed canvas material, so it feels a little bit lighter weight than leather to me, which is nice in the Texas heat. And it's got some nice little clips in the back that help you put it on and take it off real quick. So if you think this might be something you would be interested in, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. You can find them on Amazon or their own website. It'll really help to keep that oil and grease off your clothes and all that sawdust out of your pockets. Your washing machine and maybe your wife will really appreciate it. Guys, this is after two sheets of 60 grit sandpaper and probably about 15 20 minutes of work. So I don't think I'm gonna have to go with the wire brush. I don't care if it's still a little discolored, it doesn't have to be shiny, it just has to be smooth and flat. I'm not trying to sell this. I'm going to keep at it with the sanding, with the orbital, and uh, probably work up to 150. Mm -hmm. 
So after four sheets of 60 grit and two sheets of 120 grit, that's what we got. I'm really glad I didn't have to take the wire brush to it on an angle grinder. That's just pretty intrusive. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the finest steel wool I got and a brush and I'm going to clean this up. And then I'm just going to get the dirt off of the painted areas basically. Alright guys, there she is, a $25 joiner. So, I cleaned off this with the air hose and WD-40 all the way around. There's two things, it just, it gets the dirt off of there, but also goes ahead and puts a layer of oil on some of this paint, try to protect it from some rust. Now the next part I want to do is really protect it from some rust, and I had to use paste wax. And you'll know your paste, you're ready for paste wax when you can take your towel and pretty much comes off clean. If there's a little bit of black, it's okay. But that is ready for paste wax. Alright YouTubers, I'm sorry, but uh, my phone actually got overheated and I couldn't let you watch me put on the paste wax. But it's just like putting on car wax. A wax on, a wax off, you know, all that good stuff. And the kind I use is the Min Wax. Uh, Johnson's is fine too, it don't matter. But, uh, so I got, it probably took me four hours. It took me to clean this thing up, right? And that's what y'all saw. Uh, plus the videoing you know, adds probably another hour to it. So it probably would have taken me three hours to get this thing in the state it's in. It took me two and a half hours to level out the new blades. That is a pain in the... I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to get some use out of this. I never thought I'd have a joiner. I never thought I'd have a planer. But they're here. This one I got lucky on, the planer I saved up for. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did. Hit, leave me a comment, tell me what I did wrong, because I know somebody's going to, because there's a thousand ways to skin a goat. And uh, hit that subscribe button down there. It's little, but it's there. All right, guys, till next time, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace!